Hi friends, it's Miss Sandra. I'm here today to share with you a story from the Old Testament. It's a story about a prophet. It's a story about Malachi the prophet. And do you remember what a prophet was? Do you remember? Remember a prophet was a man chosen by God to listen to what God says and then to tell all the people what God had said to him. A prophet's job was to listen to God and then tell the people what God had said. Well, these people, the Jewish people were back home. They were back home in their promised land. They had built up their temple. It was beautiful, a place that they could come and worship God. They had built a wall all around their city to keep them safe inside. And now they were ready for God to bless them. They were ready for God to do great and good things for them. And so they waited for him. They waited for God. They waited for God. They waited for God and they did not hear from him. And they were sad. They were very, very sad. Some of the people thought, maybe God doesn't love us. But of course he did. He loved his people. He loved his people so, so much. But he wanted his people to obey him. And his people, God's people, were doing wrong things. And Malachi's job was to listen to what God said and tell the people what those wrong things were so they could get better. The first thing Malachi told them was this. Let me turn my chart down. Now that's a picture of a sheep. It's supposed to be a sick sheep or a hurt sheep. Something not good, something wrong with that sheep. The priests, the priests were the, like the church leaders, and they were supposed to make sacrifices to God. They were supposed to take, God had told them to do this, they were supposed to take the most perfect animal that they could find, and they would sacrifice it. Sacrifice was a way for them to um, um, tell God they were sorry that they had done wrong things, and a way to show that they were would promise, would try to do right things. But God had said, when you make this sacrifice, you bring a perfect animal to me. Well, they didn't. They didn't do that. Boys and girls, do you know what they did? They would look at all the animals that they have and they had and they would pick out a sick one and they would offer the sick one to God. Or they would pick out one that had broken legs and offer it to God. Or they would pick out one that had some disease, something very terrible wrong with it, and they would give that to God. And God was not happy about that. He was not happy at all. He wanted the very best sacrifices because look what he has given to them. He wants to be worshipped by them. But instead of giving them, giving God their very best, they gave God the worst. And God was not happy. Say that. God was not happy. Now the next thing that the priest did, look at this picture. That's supposed to be a priest. He has on kind of a mad looking face. But the next thing that the priest did, they were supposed to teach the people all about God. They were supposed to teach the people what God wanted from them and what God had for them. The priest did not do that. They began teaching things that were lies. They began teaching things that God never said. And they were teaching this to God's people. And God was not happy. You say that with me. God was not happy. And then Malachi gave them another warning. God spoke to Malachi again, and Malachi listened, and this is what he said to him. He said, Malachi, you tell these people this, that one day a judge is coming back to this earth and that judge is going to look for his people it's going to be a messenger with a special message and that message will be listen to what I have to say to you I am sending you another messenger a very very special me messenger a messenger that's going to do for you um, what I have given him, them to do and it's going to be a very very big job now let me tell you who that second messenger was going to be. It's going to be Jesus. It's going to be Jesus. 
Now, I want to show you something in my Bible quickly, so let me get it for you. This is my Bible, right here, my Bible. And I've shown you this before. This part of the Bible, see how many pages? There's a lot of pages there. This is the Old Testament. And in this part of the Bible, in this Old Testament part, all through here, there are messages and there are words, there are um, um, comments, there are things that are said all through this part that God is saying, I'm sending you a messenger. I'm sending you a savior. I'm sending you Jesus. This whole part. And Malachi is right here. It's the very last part of that. Malachi, in Malachi, God says, one more time, a messenger is coming. It's going to be Jesus. This part is what we call the New Testament, and there aren't as many, very many pages. It's in this part that Jesus comes. So, Old Testament, get ready. I'm sending Jesus to you. New Testament, he's there. He has come. Now, between this part of the Old Testament and this part of the New Testament, the people had to wait 400 years. They had to wait a long, long time, but God didn't forget. God knew, I'm bringing someone, I'm sending someone to you, and he will be the Savior. So let's go on with the story and see what else happens. So Ms. Um, Malachi warned the priests about speaking the truth. He warned the priests about giving perfect sacrifices, and he also had a word for the people. And one of the things he told the people was this. You are robbing me. This is supposed to be a bag of gold. It just stands for the money and the wealth that God gave the people. And God said to the people, you're robbing me. I give you so many good things. And I ask that you share those good things. And you don't. Everything that you have been given from me you keep to yourself. You are very um, stingy. You don't share. And God wants his people to share. They forgot it all belongs to God anyway. It all belongs to him. And because they would not share, God was not happy with the people. There was something else that was going on. Look at this picture. This is supposed to be a picture just of the people and they're all standing around and they're all talking to one another. But listen to what they were saying. Things like this. Where is God? It doesn't do any good to worship God. Where is he? He doesn't love us. He doesn't care about us. If God loved us, he would have better lives for us. Where is God? They were saying mean things about God. They were talking about God in a way that was very, very disrespectful. And God said, stop. God was not happy. And he said this, someday, in a while, a day is coming when everyone who has done wrong things will be punished. A day is coming when that will happen. A day is coming when I am sending my very special messenger and those people who have loved me and trusted me, they're gonna be happy. They are going to sing, they are going to dance, they are going to celebrate. And you know what? I think God wants us all to be part of that group. He wanted those people and he wanted us to be part of that group. Now these people have been waiting a long, long, long time for that special messenger, the very special one, the one who would be our savior. They had been waiting a long time for him. And soon, 400 years, that messenger would be on this earth. And it's going to be Jesus. And Jesus is going to teach about God's love. And Jesus is going to teach about how much he uh, cares for his people. And those people who know Jesus are going to celebrate. They're going to be so happy. And those people who have never known Jesus are going to be very, very sad. Now, I want to be part of the group that's happy. I want to be part that knows, part of the group that knows and loves Jesus. And I want you to be part of that too. I want us to be together someday celebrating Jesus. Um, I hope that um, 
you are good listeners. I bet you are because you are on Sunday mornings. Um, and I want to thank you for that. Would you um, bow your heads and we'll pray together. You ready? Dear God, you give us many, many opportunities. You give us many, many warnings. And there are so many times when we do disappoint you. But God, we know this, that if we have Jesus as our Savior, that he does not want us to be sad. He does not want us to do wrong things. He wants to forgive us. He wants us to be more and more like him. Will you help us with that? Help us to be patient and kind. Help us to share. Help us to be the people that you want us to be. We love you, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. Hey, y'all, did you like this? Guess what? It's a box. It's just an old box. Look what I did. And then I taped my words up here so I could make a little chart. Hey, you can do that, too. You just tape up here what you want. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. And you can tell a story that way. I'll see you soon. Bye.